hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see the winding of a transformer so here uh, we are making this transformer for my buck and boost converter and uh, i got this transformer for uh, 8 years power supply and uh, here we have two transformers i am using the small one for making of this transform so here we have to make some calculation on this transformer so that we can properly make a winding of this so here we have a formula and uh, in the primary side we are using a 12 volt as a input to boost or uh, down the voltage of this uh, converter or uh, for the making of uh, inverters so here we, i'm taking the 12 volt uh, in the place of uh, v in and uh, we are working on the frequency of uh, 65 kilohertz so i am uh, rating 65 kilohertz in the formula and uh, here the value for the p max will be 2000 because uh, we are working above uh, 20 kilohertz so after this i am uh, calculating the uh, ferrite core length and uh, breadth for the calculation of uh, cross sectional area so the length is uh, 11 mm and uh, breadth is uh, 7 mm so we are uh, calculating in mm here uh, 11 mm and uh, 7 mm and multiply to this we got uh, 77 mm so the value we are find in the formula and uh, calculate according to this after this uh, we can find the voltage per turns and to after this I am uh, writing on the screen here we got uh, 2.73 volts per turn which means if we make uh, one turn on this transformer core so the voltage will be 2.73 volts so for the 12 volts here we have to make almost uh, 4 turns for the making of uh, 12 volt but uh, in my case here uh, i'm working with uh, buck and boost mode so that's why i'm uh, making uh, the turns like uh, we have to make some uh, average data like uh, for the average of uh, 9 volt or uh, 15 volts or uh, 24 volts we got uh, almost uh, 3 turns for making of this transformer which is uh, very perfect for the uh, lower voltage input also so here I'm making a uh, three zero three turns in the primary side so that uh, we can give uh, lower voltage like uh, seven or six volts and uh, also same repeats in the secondary side so for 12 volts it's a uh, three zero three turns and for the 24 volts it's a uh, six zero six turns in the secondary side so our calculation is done and uh, now we make a transformer winding so here i am using a 0.6 mm copper wire in the primary side and i am using three conductors in parallel because uh, we are handling high amperes of current so that we are uh, making a thick wire and uh, here i am using uh, multiple wires not the single thick wire because uh, we have to also see the cross-sectional losses like uh, uh, if I use uh, a thick wire of single string it will create a uh, uh, core saturation losses or uh, any kind of uh, losses so to overcome this uh, I am using uh, multiple threads of uh, uh, thin wires so here I am isolating the primary side with uh, isolating tape and uh, fix with uh, super glue and uh, after this uh, i'm gonna make the secondary side of this transformer which is also made using a uh, very thin wires of a uh, multiple string and uh, it will be 606 turns in the uh, winding so here uh, i'm making a uh, six turns and again make a uh, tapping of uh, at zero volt and then six turns so here our transformer is uh, completed fully 
and uh, this transformer can be used for the making of a DC DC converters also I have used uh, this transfer for the making of uh, uh, my video on the bug and bush converter using a TL494 based so this is the basic uh, calculation data of uh, uh, any kind of transformer so here uh, uh, this transformer is uh, used in the push pull mode and uh, this means the core uh, saturation is also better if we not make any a creep between the cores so this is the basic uh, winding calculation data of our transformer and uh, thanks for watching and i'll see the next video